Okay, so it's Luxury Fred, and I am in the home of luxury, the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I'm at probably one of the city's most luxurious, most beautiful hotels, the Shangri-La Paris. And what I'm going to do now is give you a tour of one of their best suites. This is the Suite Imperial, and the, uh, the history of the hotel, if you don't know, first the hotel has automatic opening doors, which is very cool. Uh, the history of the hotel is that this is actually built in a historic mansion that was the home of Roland Bonaparte, who was Napoleon's nephew. So this was a fantastic uh, mansion in the mid-1800s is when he lived here. The late 1800s is when he lived here. Second Empire, I think they call it, that period. Um, and this particular suite, the Suite Imperial, was his actual bedroom, his personal space in this mansion. And the Shangri-La, with of course attention to detail and historic, uh, the history of the building, created this beautiful hotel within this amazing mansion. So let's take a tour of the Imperial Suite. Now we're here during Christmas time, so as you can see, the Shangri-La has a Christmas tree. This is the, the living room, the grand salon, if you will. And again, this is decorated in the style and with some of the same furniture and things like that that were here when Roland Bonaparte lived in this actual suite. So as you can see, just massive, beautiful suite with uh, high ceilings, uh, beautiful ornamentation and things like that on the molding just that beautiful classic kind of French style. Um, as you can see, the Shangri-La has this imperial suite furnished with these beautiful uh, Chinese antiques and porcelain pieces and things like that. Uh, as with every amazing luxury suite, you must have a dining room. So we have this amazing dining room with a beautiful chandelier, chandeliers in every room. And uh, I've stayed at a lot of Shangri-Las, and Shangri-La really likes chandeliers, and they definitely do it well. Let's continue on the amazing tour. Now, this is a luxury suite, and one of the amenities that this has is its own kitchen. So, most likely, if you're staying in this suite, then you are having a private chef, or the hotel's executive chef can prepare your meals on suite for you. Uh, also, the chef can shop at the local markets and make sure that the kitchen is stocked with all your favorite foods and things like that. So that was the dining room, and now we continue the tour into one of the most amazing bathrooms that I've ever seen. So let's go through the enormous dressing room and closet here, room for all your fancy suits and things like that. And now we come in to the bathroom. So the first room in the bathroom is just kind of your standard lavatory with a bidet and a little sink in there. Notice all the accessories, all the fixtures and things like that are gold plated. And then we have this very large shower right here. And again, if you look at the fixtures and things like that, all of the uh, faucets uh, are gold-plated as well. Now this is not the main part of the bathroom. Come on, the main part of the bathroom is in here. It's in here. Now this might look like an entire hotel suite at other hotels, but this is the bathroom. So we have a beautiful big whirlpool tub, amazing cabinetry, again, gold fixtures, little dressing area here, and uh, let's continue the tour into the bedroom. And here we are, I think this might be my favorite room, because it's big, it's elegant, it's luxurious, but it still feels like a bedroom and it's comfortable. Uh, again, we're at the Shangri-La Paris, and the Shangri-La Paris was created within the mansion that was owned by Roland Bonaparte, Napoleon Bonaparte's nephew, and this was his bedroom. 
we'll find out who this lovely picture is. Possibly it's, uh, it's either Roland's wife or his mother. I believe he lived with his mother and his daughters here. Uh, and then a cool feature of this suite that I've just learned about is we have this little patio outside. And if you notice, this outside patio, if you watch my other videos, this hotel on the other side faces the Eiffel Tower. With like amazing views of the Eiffel Tower. But if you know the history of the Eiffel Tower, when it was first built, it was considered a modern monstrosity that didn't match the kind of classic style of Paris. Roland Bonaparte, who lived here, didn't like it either. So he had his main suite, his bedroom, facing the opposite direction, not the Eiffel Tower, which is on the other side. Also, I'm told that because this faces the front of the mansion, he liked to be able to see his guests arriving and things like that. And if you come over here real quick, and if you look down, this is the beautiful kind of entry courtyard for the mansion for the Shangri-La Paris. So that concludes the tour of this amazing suite imperial here at the Shangri-La Paris. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. You can read more about my France adventure at luxuryfred.com and also uh, businesstravelerusa.com and uh, goworldtravel.com as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.